Hi everybody, welcome to another week of Meals on the Seesaw and we're starting out Saturday night this week with kind of a fake away Nando's. So we've got some curly fries, we've got some tender stem broccoli, corn on the cob, onion rings and then these are chicken thigh fillets and they're coated in some of the Nando's seasoning, um, the packet seasoning that you get at the grocery store and I just bake them in the oven um, with the onion rings while everything cooked together. So uh, yeah, a bit of a sort of a fake away special for Saturday night this week. Slightly beigey, orangey looking plate, but we've got corn and broccoli, so <laughs> um, plenty of veggie actually on there. But off to enjoy this uh, with our movie. Not sure what we're watching on Saturday night. Hi everybody, so it is Sunday. It has been Mother's Day here in the UK and we put our clocks forward last night. So after a misty start for rugby this morning, a bit chilly, the sun came out and it's been a really nice afternoon. And then, of course, you really notice that it's much later when the lights go on and start to kind of um, move into evening. So it's been a nice day. I went to visit my mum for a little while this afternoon. Um, but we're just having simple dinner tonight. We don't usually go out for eating on like Mother's Day, Father's Day, that sort of thing, because we just don't like places that are too busy and everywhere is really busy on those days so we tend to do it at a different time american mother's day is in may and i think a lot of europe is as well so we tend to perhaps to go out and do something then rather than on british mother's day so we're having simple supper tonight we've got chicken kievs these are the garlic butter filled chicken and um, we've got those with some nice baby potatoes local norfolk potatoes um, with butter and parsley and some um, frozen peas and corn that we've just um, boiled up in the pan. So all quick and simple to prepare tonight. And that's our Sunday night supper. Hey everybody, so it's Monday night and I'm just as I'm preparing dinner, I thought I'd show you what I'm putting together here because this is a really easy take on a pasta bake, but um, just something slightly different. So in here I've got a large package of turkey mince that I've just browned. This is one of the 750 gram packages. I want this meal to have plenty of leftovers, so I'm using a larger package for that. Um, over here I've got a whole package, 16 ounce or 500 gram package of the little shell pasta, which I've just cooked up on package directions. I've got some water here, it's about... Um, 500 mils of water. Um, Probably will use a little bit less than that. I'll judge it as I put it in. I've got two packages of the taco seasoning as it's the mild one. I've got some cream cheese here and I'm probably going to use the rest of that pot. This is a low fat cream cheese. These are like 180 gram pots and I've had some out of there, but I will probably use the rest of that. And then in here I've got some salsa. So that is what was left in the bottom of a jar of mild salsa and then a jar of hot salsa that I picked up at the weekend. So that's just that combined in there. And then I've got some of the chili cheese mix and you can just use cheddar or mozzarella or something. So all I'm gonna do now that the turkey is combined, is, is browned, is put the cooked pasta in, the taco seasoning, the cream cheese and the salsa, pour in enough water to make it, like I don't want it really saucy. I just want, I want some nice, uh, nice sauce in with the uh, the pasta but I don't want it runny because the pasta is already cooked and then I will sprinkle over the top some of the chili cheese mix and then I'm just going to put the whole thing in the oven in the casserole dish um, and just cook it for about 20 minutes to melt the cheese and just let all the flavors combine together so much like you would a pasta bake you could do this in a big pot on the stove top and just sprinkle cheese on the top and let it melt you could, if you don't have a big pot, a big casserole pot like this, you could cook off your meat in a skillet, combine it with the other ingredients and then combine everything in a casserole dish. So it's fairly flexible, but it's just a different take on a pasta bake. So it's using the Mexican style, Tex-Mex style flavours rather than traditional Italian flavours. But I'll come back and show you the finished product before we eat. So there is our finished taco style pasta bake and I don't know that I've got the right utensil for getting this out but you can see it's cheesy on the top and then underneath you've got the sauce with the salsa the meat and cream cheese um that was about it wasn't it oh and the taco seasoning so 
We're just going to have this with some tortilla chips on the side, but you could certainly have it with garlic bread, salad, whatever. Um, and we're off to enjoy this on a Monday night. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday night. No, it's not. It's Tuesday night. And because I never show you Tony's plate, <laughs> Tony's plate is the first one ready tonight. So I'm showing you his plate. We've got chicken burgers. These are the Tesco um, chicken, southern fried chicken thigh fillets. We've got them on seeded buns with lettuce. I think he's probably got pickles in his and um, cheese. Um, Caleb's got beetroot with his. I'm having some beetroot and pickled onions with mine. <laughs> and then we've got these um, Maris Piper potatoes that I just cut into chunks. They're not really wedges, not really chips, not really roasties. They're just cut into chunks and cooked up in the active fryer with a bit of the um, salt and chilli seasoning. So that is our Tuesday night chicken burger supper. Hi everybody, so it is Wednesday night. It definitely is Wednesday this time. Now I've had a long day today, I set off from home about half five this morning, didn't get back until after seven, um, and of eight hours of driving and a few hours of meetings, and so quite a long day. So I had sort of planned for tonight to be a takeaway type of night, um, but actually on my way back I had to stop and pick up a couple of things. Caleb has his first cooking lesson at school tomorrow, and they need to take in some ingredients which we didn't have, so... Um, I had to stop for those on my way home and as I was walking through the store I thought oh, I'll just look and, and get something for dinner. Now not for what we've got I'm blaming Cheryl over at Mrs Watts for Tea or the Watts for Tea channel um, because she had these on her menu last week and it made me really crave one. So mine is a cheese and onion lattice bake um, or cheese and onion slice and I've got it with a little bit of creamy mash and some baked beans and that's just what I fancied. The boys have got the same, but Caleb's got spaghetti instead of beans, and they've got the chicken and bacon one rather than cheese and onion. So um, that is what we've got for dinner tonight. Quick and simple, just what I need after a really long day, not anything that I had to really think about. And Caleb's been to football practice, so um, this was just cooking when they got home. So off to enjoy this on a late Wednesday night, and back to the cooking tomorrow. Hey everybody, so it is Thursday night and tonight we have got, it's the last night of March and tonight we've got fish. So I've made up some rice with stock cube the way I've been making it for a while now. I then had a side of salmon which I picked up at Morrison's on my drive back from my work trip yesterday. And I just put it on a piece of parchment, put another piece of parchment on the top, um, parchment, greaseproof paper. Parchment is the American <laughs> word for that. Um, put another piece on the top, popped it in a 180 fan oven for about 10 minutes, then took it out and I put a topping on of some parsley, some garlic and some parmesan cheese and then put it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. Um, it was quite a big piece so I let it go for the full kind of 20 minutes but just time it based on. If you were doing smaller portions you wouldn't need to cook it for so long. Um, I've used grana padano instead of parmesan because that's just what I had. You could use some chopped fresh parsley and chopped minced garlic. I just used garlic powder and some dried parsley just because that's what I had. It was easy to do. So we're having the fish with the rice and then we've got some broccoli and green beans there in the steamer. So that is our Thursday night fish supper. Hi everybody. So it's Friday night and tonight we've got cheesy rice and mince. Um, it looks a bit sloppy on the plate, but actually it's really tasty. So this is just some mince, onion and garlic, just browned together. And when that's uh, nicely browned, you just add in some seasoning, whatever you want, really. I added a bit of oregano, a bit of salt and pepper, and then a little bit of chicken stock. I used about a cup and I used um, part of a carton of passata, kind of what was left in the carton from something else I'd made earlier in the week. And then um, a couple of big handfuls of frozen peas I stirred through and the rest of the pack of the chili cheese that I used to top the pasta bake earlier in the week. I stirred that all through with um, about a cup and a half of cooked rice. Uh, so I used about half a cup of rice and a cup of water and that gives you about a cup and a half of cooked rice. And stirred that through as well. Put it all into a casserole dish, let it bake in the oven for about 15 minutes and I just made a simple little topping with some sour cream and some more cheese. I spread that over the top, popped it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. 
and we're going to have this with tortilla chips to dip with it so um yeah a bit quick fairly quick tasty something a bit different on a friday night thank you for joining us for this week of meals and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon